everyone, it's Simon again. Today I'm going to do an old review for Blockbuster Month, and today it's on a movie from 2010, and that is Alice in Wonderland. Now, the plot of this movie is where this girl named Alice, played by Mia, what, what, what's her face, uh, goes down this rabbit hole and finds this magical land, and a lot of people know who Alice is, so Alice comes across a bunch of different characters and she has to discover who she really is. So that's pretty much the plot of this movie. A lot of people didn't like this movie, but personally, I really liked it. It's not one of Tim Burton's best movies. It's not as good as Beetlejuice or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or Batman or Batman Returns or anything like that, or maybe even Pee-wee's Big Adventure. But I enjoyed this movie. I liked it. I didn't see it in theaters, sadly, but... This movie did make a lot of money. It made over a billion dollars. And yeah, this is a great movie. And personally, I prefer it over the original animated movie. Yeah, I mean, no offense to that movie. I do like that movie, but I think this is better. I just like the darker tone. The CG is really well done. It's really colorful. And it has visually, gr it's really visually great. It look all the visuals look very pretty. And it has a lot of great acting actors in it like uh johnny depp he plays the mad hatter i thought he did well uh i do like johnny depp he's one of my favorite actors and uh um helena bottom carter was the red queen um mia wachowski was wachowska whatever her name is was uh alice she did well and hathaway was the white queen i like Anne hathaway she's a very pretty actress she's always nice to see and um the white Michael Sheen was the white rabbit. I thought he did well. And I like this movie. I don't think it deserved the hate it got. I haven't seen the sequel, Alice Through the Looking Glass, yet. I wanted to see it in theaters, but I didn't get a chance. But I'll probably check it out. So that's my review of Alice in Wonderland. See you next time.